Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2020 Bobcat E35 uh, compact mini excavator. Uh, this excavator has 763 hours on it. It is an extremely nice machine. All the black paint on the car body and up is original. The bottom gray, we did paint the blade and the track frames just because they were scratched up, as the usual machine is. Uh, machine never had a thumb on it, ever had a thumb. And I did go ahead and I bought a brand new, uh, we really like the product from Showtime Manufacturing. Uh, call Chad out there if you guys need a thumb, get a hold of Showtime. They do build a very good quality thumb. It's all American made. It's, it's two brothers, they got I think five employees. They're great people. Uh, they will fix you up on a uh, on a thumb, and it is a OEM quality thumb. I've had one on my own personal excavator for many years. Never had a single issue with it, and it comes complete. It's right, and it can be installed in about 40 minutes. It's done. Hardest thing is is uh, basically plumbing your hoses up so that you have the routing right. So, but brand new thumb installed, main pin thumb. Um, <clears throat> does have the single pin exchange, and yes, this machine is a long arm. I have the decal coming. Decal is skin up. We're gonna put a brand new decal on there, but it is a long arm machine. 24 inch OEM Bobcat Severe Duty bucket is with it. And the machine is extremely clean. Tracks that are on this machine are approximately 80% and they are OEM Bobcat tracks. Um, we've done a complete and full service on this. Uh, we've changed all the filters and oils. Uh, we're gonna show you here underneath the cab uh, take it completely around the machine. Come on. So under the hood of this, this is going to be an E35, and it is called a, um, this is going to be what they call a low horse, which is going to have the Kubota motor in it. You have two different engine options. Um, you have your uh, Kubota engine option, which is going to be your D, I think these are a D1703 in these. And then they do make the Doosan engine. The Doosan engine has struggled with a lot of injector problems. The Kubota engine in these is a very reliable engine setup. Um, <laughs> runs and works great. Uh, we've done a full service. All the filters and oils have just been changed. All brand new OEM Kubota filters have all been done. We did do the planetary hub oils and the cabin filters in this machine. Uh, we probably put about 20 hours on this machine. We actually did do a, a video here for a CID Extreme Brush Hog. We put a brush hog cutter that we have available that fits the E35s, the E50s, E60s, basically your E-Series products. Um, and we did a video with this. Very good running working machine. So here you got your valve bank. You're going to have your fuse panel, battery, uh, everything here, hydraulic reservoir. And then this panel will come off and get you access to your air conditioning condensers, your radiators, and different things like that. Okay. There is, on this side, engine hood, fairly typical to the Bobcat. There is one crack right here. I want everybody to see that. Doesn't affect anything. I'm just pointing it out. Most guys wouldn't be that honest and show it. Let me latch this side cover. We're going to shut the engine hood. Car body itself is extremely nice and straight. There's one little scuff and a ding right there. Again, that paint's all original. The counterweight does have the heavier counterweight on it because of being a long arm. <clears throat> Cab is extremely straight. Again, the panels are all very, very nice. E35i, 24.8 <clears throat> horse. Uh, machine's gonna weigh around 7,700 pounds. Um, is a year model 2020. Push blade, you can see there's barely anywhere on the cutting edge. Beautiful shape there. Cylinder guard tells a lot about a machine. Very nice, very straight. None of the cylinders are leaking anywhere. Again, does have the single pin exchange. We did go ahead and pull into the circuit, obviously, for the um, Showtime manufacturing thumb. This is a three quarter inch thick, very, very well built thumb again. Everything, they send you a hose kit, everything's nice routed. We put some nice heavy zip ties on it um, and put it on the machine. Severe Duty Bobcat 24 inch bucket. <clears throat> We're gonna go up here to the cab. We'll start in there. All the glass is in the cab and everything is complete. Very clean inside the cab. Seat's good and clean, has the cloth seat in it. Hop in here. 
Cab Heat Air AM FM Radio Auto Throttle. So you can see here 763 hours on the machine. We will provide you with the master code. You have no active warnings. Here's your parameters. And again, you do have your AC. Travel alarm cancel, AM, FM radio. Your uh, louver vents. On this side, you're going to have your windshield wiper. Then remember, on these machines, basically what Bobcat's doing, you have a roll knob here that's going to activate and move your thumb. Okay? And then what you can do here is you can actually set the sensitivity uh, of that thumb that you want. Up here on this lever, your left-hand lever, that's going to run your swing boom, okay? Uh, which is nice. It's all, all at your fingertips, okay? Stick my boom back down. Ben, I'm going to hand this back to Ben here real quick. I'm going to fire this machine up. I'm going to run it around. The shit does everything it's supposed to do. I'm going to go ahead and shut my cabin door. This is a keyless start machine. It does have that deluxe panel in it. Um, I do like my the E35 size machines. Uh, basically, I've owned a pile of these machines. They are a very good excavator. Um, this is a, a what's called an a R series, so it does have the newer style undercarriage, where the rollers there's two speed, two speed, two speed. Um, it has the outside style flange bottom roller in it where the old series machine had a center mount flange. Now something to show you here. See how we're turning the tracks under load like that. That indicates that you have strong travel motors and hydrostat on the travel motor or hydraulic pump. Very smooth operating machine. And something I'm going to say about these I model machines, you know, the high horse machines, 33 and a half horse, these are 24.8. I have run a bunch of these, and I don't feel the big difference between them. Uh, there's people who argue that. Um, but what I look at, this engine that's in these, I can work on it very simply. It's a fully mechanical engine. Um, injector pump still run off of a fuel cam, not off of an ECM. Um, so those are all things you got to think about whenever you're purchasing a machine. Uh, and I'm not knocking the Doosan engine in any way. I am, what I am knocking is they know that they've had some injector issues. Um, they have done nothing, and just like any other manufacturer out there, to really solve that problem. Uh, a lot of that stuff does come down to the customer and the fuel, and if you run conditioner, if you don't, then you got to keep good, clean fuel today. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the common rail stuff, you've got to have extremely clean fuel. Keep in mind, this old Kubota engine in this will run on about anything. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to reach on over here. The machine is extremely good and tight. It's not all slopped out. The white paint is absolutely beautiful on the machine. So we'll get you a little close up here of the Showtime Manufacturing Thumb. What's nice about their thumb, there it is, mates up beautiful with the factory bobcat buckets even aftermarket buckets we've never had a problem with that now i can speed that thumb up this is going to be open closed and i can take it one step slower and then one step slower than that yet Uh, nice overhead style door in this. They do have both of these side windows that open up very nice. I've got to turn my lights on there. I turn my lights on for you. So keep in mind, this is going to be the same horsepower um, and working capabilities. And you can see how stable it is. I don't even have my blade down. Um, 
as your KX033 Kubotas and your uh, U35, which there again, this is going to be the same as a U35, um, you know, zero tail swing versus conventional. Um, so you've got to keep that in mind. Um, again, cab heat here does have a travel arm cancel. I can cancel that. Um, very, very clean machine. Um, again, you got your single pin exchange so that you can, if you, if you have an older Bobcat 331, 334, if you had a 430 and you want to make you know, all your buckets you want to interchange over to a machine, as long as you had what was called single pin exchange, you were in good shape. So you can see there, I'm doing multi functions at once, and it's not laboring the machine, it's doing it. See, I'm swinging the boom, I'm traveling, and I'm swinging the house all at the same time. So, very nice setup. The zinc plating on this machine on all the steel lines are nice, straight, clean. Uh, again, I'm extremely happy to have this machine. Um, good mini excavators right now are very, very hard to come by. Um, auto idle works. I had right at two grand in the thumb. So you got to understand, I'm not afraid to put a little money into our stuff so that we have something nice to sell to a customer. It's it's, re it's set up, it's ready to go to work. It is tight. There's hardly there in really any play out in the swing boom. Um, I'll break pilot pressure. Auto throttle comes right back up. You do have these nice windows here that slide. Uh, very nice. Uh, they've done a really nice job. A lot of glass in the cab. Very, very good visibility. Um, shut the headlights out. Cab heat air all works. AM, FM radio. Um, guys there it is so uh 2020 bobcat e35i thank god it did this here come on ben show them this there's one mark in this track where they must have get up on a stump must have get up on something and it tore a little chunk out of that it doesn't hurt anything nothing's broke we just want everybody to see that uh other than that it's just an extremely nice clean machine it is set up right um Cab heat area, FM radio, cloth seat, brand new thumb, uh, single pin exchange, two speed travel, and again, it is that reliable Kubota motor that's in there. So, if you've got any questions, 814 658 3066, please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. If you have any questions, you need a trucking quote, let us know. We'll be glad to get you on, we'll be glad to help you out. Uh, give Nick or Ben a call at 814 658 3066. As always, thank you very much. Check out our Mark Supply Company. Have a great day.